Okay, fellas. I don't know about you guys. Uh, four wheelers and cars kind of overlap a lot. Um, Want to try something new? I really don't like cleaning my four wheeler, and it seems like it needs to be done after every ride. Um, it's not perfect right now. But what I'd like to do is I've, I've heard about this. It's supposed to be super hydro hydrophobic. Uh, it's supposed to last for up to a year. But what I'm interested in knowing is can I help keep my four-wheeler clean or cleaner if I put this product on? So What I've done is I've, I've cleaned, cleaned the four-wheeler, I've taped it off, I've cleaned underneath the fenders, and yes, that is clean, that's just all embedded dirt in the rubber. Um, I did both sides, and what we're going to do is, I even did the, I even did the underside here too, so you guys can see, probably not, but Underside's done as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I've got this tape line run across. I'm going to do this side with the product. I'm going to leave this side as is. It's equally clean or equally dirty, however you want to look at it. I'm going to do the wheels on this side. Wheels are clean, relatively anyway. Same thing here. So let's get to uh, putting the product on and see how it does. Okay, so the instructions say to wash and dry car well. Shake well, uh, do, no, do not over apply. Two sprays per panel, so I'm assuming I can do nearly this whole machine with two sprays uh, and then use two separate towels one to apply one to remove um, for best performance clay obviously we're not going to clay plastic and you can apply a second coat right away uh, it can be used on wheels glass plastics but do not use on convertible tops so I'm going to hit this stuff I'm going to hit Hit these plastics here, here. Do the do the wheels, and then I'm going to do the fenders. It's definitely a lot slicker. It smells like mango or something. I'm not going to bore you with putting this on, um, but I'll go through the steps. I'll show you what it looks like before and after. It doesn't look like the matte finish is like turning shiny or anything like that, uh, which is good because I, I like how it's matte instead of shiny. But um, yeah, let me put all it put it all on this side, and then we'll take a walk around the machine. Okay. Everything went on pretty well. 
Um, it's it's extremely slick, um, and I'm assuming that they say that you're supposed to use uh, one to two sprays per panel because paint's usually pretty smooth and it's easy to spread out. On the machines here, though, there's there's tons of porous areas and whatnot. When I put the material on, the the black here was really really shiny, uh, like when I put 303 on here. Uh, when it dried and I buffed it off, though, it's kind of back to this faded color. So. I'm thinking maybe clean it, hit it with the 303 like I normally do so it really looks good. And then uh, do the top coat of this stuff. Um, this plastic uh, is uh, about as porous, maybe a little bit more porous than the, than the fenders and stuff. But this seemed to take it a little better. I mean, if you look, you can tell there's a contrast here between the two. This one's a lot lighter where it doesn't have it on here. Uh, the fenders I did underneath here, very slick. Um, the other thing with the wheels too is I think I understand now why they say not to put a whole bunch of product on because uh, you can tell the wheels, they're not shiny anymore. They're, they're kind of dull and funny looking. So I think I put way too much. I did do two or three sprays on the back wheel. So we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, and I didn't do the front bumper yet. I gotta do that. But for the most part, uh, it went on pretty easy. Um, if you look, there's really not a big, big difference here between the two. I mean, you can pull the tape off. I mean, there's almost no difference here. So, and it's really slick right here, and just kind of staticky, and you know, uh, dull right here. So. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go riding on Sunday. Today's Friday, um, so we'll have kind of an update. I'll I'll bring the GoPro on the trails and we'll take a look as we go through some mud and dirt and stuff, and kind of take a look at the machine after we're done riding for a day. And I stand corrected. This doesn't smell like mango. It it really smells like a Jolly Rancher. But look, see what I mean about when you apply it on here. So the plastic looks fantastic right now but make sure we get these headlights and this cloth is saturated so I'm not spraying anything else on but then we come back and buff or level see how it it really doesn't shine or anything like that so I understand that it wasn't intended to be used on this type of plastic but uh, I'm just curious to see if it's easy to clean I just I'd like to come home and just hose the machine off put it back in the trailer and be good I don't know if this stuff makes a difference at all. She's just as dirty on this side. Well, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yeah. 
I don't know if this stuff works. Yeah, brother. Well, look at the look at the headlight. That's the key difference. Headlights clean. This side was coated. Yeah. These wheels look like they're still. Oh, that's not what I want to touch. Yeah, it's hard. I sprayed half a mine down too. Can you tell? The the wheels, it looks like it makes a difference. The fenders, it doesn't look like it makes much of a difference. And now it's just a matter of when I have dried mud on here, is it gonna come off easier? You know. Want a tug? do it again.
Well, this is the aftermath. It's the next day. I don't think the uh, turtle wax I don't think this stuff uh, is going to do us any justice, but we're going to find out. As you can see, the fenders are and everything look the same. All right, the first thing we're gonna try is see if we hose it off, if it makes any difference. Uh, I'm not thinking it's gonna do much, but probably gonna have to bust out the pressure washer. The other thing that's interesting too is, yeah, you probably, there we can read that now. It says, incredible coating can help surfaces stay cleaner longer. Clean, yeah. All right. I don't see any difference. I'm still going to have to hit it with the pressure washer. And scrub. Let's take a look at the fenders though. This is the coated fender. Yeah, that doesn't come off at all. I'm not convinced. I don't think this is going to work. Coated wheel. Yep. All right, now let's hit the uh, coated side. All right, it is raining. It doesn't seem like putting the coating on made much of a difference at all, even with pressure washing. But I'll show you guys fenders, the wheels. You guys can be the judge. I'm gonna call this one a bust. All right, there's the coated fender. There's the coated fender. Non-coated fender. And non-coated fender. I don't think it made any difference, but since it's raining, I'll put you guys in the garage and then uh, 
throw a little foam on there, do a little scrubbing. Took the bike out yesterday too. She's all clean now. Just finished oiling the chain. I gotta get chain wax, but oil in the pipe. Gotta love that foam cannon. Yeah, buddy. Any uh, hydrophobic qualities that the coating had? The northern dirt killed it. Alright, next step really is to just hit it by hand. I mean, as you can see, it's not clean, even though it's on the green one, it'll show up a lot more. Maybe I should have done the test on that, but I mean, this. About the same. So we'll hit it by hand. It's raining out. I mean, there's a little bit of beading going on here. Looks like this probably took the coating the best. No beading, a little bit of beading. But even still, you're, you're still at least an hour, hour and a half in if you dry and do all that fun stuff. I'd like to just power wash soap power wash and be done All right, well, I think you guys get the picture. I just gotta clean the, plas the black plastic on the other side and the wheels, and then I'm done. And I'll probably end up putting in the trailer wet.